Hey, how's it going? And welcome. I'm Rama from Rama Time, and this is Satisfactory Episode 11. Whee! So you may notice that up there in the top left hand side is the words experimental build and that is because the new update that includes some fluid bits has just released. There's also some really cool bits in there such as jump pad improvements and electricity deployment, the pole deployment stuff. We can now put it on ceilings and oh, there's a ton of really cool little bits. There's even a ladder. So I have enabled the experimental build just so that I can have a play with some of these features and see how it goes. Because it'll be a couple of weeks before it goes into the normal early access version. But first, a quick recap. Last episode, we built this heavy modular frames factory. Now, obviously, as you can see, there is a lot going on in here and I haven't filled in all the walls and everything yet. But that's because I made a few minor tweaks. So one of the things that I discovered was that I'd grossly misunderestimated how much cement we were going to need. So I've actually now added an additional two lines that are coming from over in that direction so that we now have these three rows of constructors building concrete for us. Which means we have a ton of concrete, more than we need, and it is no longer the bottleneck for the system. But as you can see, everything else here is filling up nicely. We have stuff for days. Even my temporary storage is now completely full. So yeah, this has worked out quite well. But today I must get on and make the rest of the building kind of complete, turn it into a proper looking building, and create a new storage area other than just this one bin. And somewhere around this area here, we'll plop a train station and have all the frames being collected. But I also might do a few little extras, but I'm still not using the copper that I've got coming in here. So I might add a little side factory that's just making copper sheets or something like that that can then get collected by the train. So without further ado, let's get that intro sequence rolling so that we can get on and get productive. Now I had been thinking about making this area over here my main base. However, I've had a bit of a change of heart due to the fact that I really love the train system built into this game, even though it needs a bit of work. I actually don't mind where the base is because I just quite fancy running train lines everywhere. So I've actually had a look around and found a new place that I'd like it to be. So a little bit south of where we've started out is this great big hole in the floor, which essentially just leads to nowhere. But just to the left of this, is this absolutely gorgeous waterfall. And I was just thinking this whole area around here looks really nice and really cool. So what if we actually built our main base area in this kind of gap here, up on stilts with some different areas, specific buildings to do specific things, but then build one giant train station that deals with everything coming in sort of down there. I'm thinking that that would be a little bit more interesting. So I think that is the way I'm going to go. And this area here, like I say, it's just down south of where we started off. It's a little way from over here and it's a little way from all the oil stuff. But I think it would be just that little bit more interesting and a little bit different to be over here by this almighty great big hole. <laughs> But first, I really, really must get this building finished, otherwise I will never ever get round to doing it. So, that is the next plan here, is to turn this into an interesting looking building. So interesting thing for you is that my uh, awesome sinks, I've had a few running around the world based on overflows, and we've actually got 35 coupons sitting in there, so I'm actually gonna print these off now. Oh, I haven't got space to actually put them actually, actually. So I'll grab them. And I am going to pop into the little shop here and see what we still needed to get. Because we have so many tickets, it's all fine. Now, there's some bits here that we definitely want. So we want the wall support for the hypertubes and we want Mark II wall outlets. Nice, okay. Foundations, we still need these. Everything else we've got. Vehicles, there is a cyber wagon. Not yet, maybe in a bit later. The new thing, the ladder. So we'll have the new ladder, which I can't wait to try. We'll have some stairs. Statues and equipment we're not too worried about. So let's see how many that is. That's 21. 
So we'll buy all of those. That leaves us 14. So basically we need six more and we'll be able to get the Tesla truck. Or I could undo these. Actually, do you know what? I will. I'll just undo those. Undo? Unlock. That's it. There we go. So now we've unlocked basically all of the important stuff that we use all the time. The next thing I will get will be the, uh, the cyber wagon. But I think that this is going to become a bit more interesting at some point soon when I'm going to have an awful lot more stuff to throw into one of these. But first, let's just have a quick play with this ladder. So where's it going to be? Under organization. Ooh, a ladder. There we go. And um, we can rotate it. We can place it. And if we click and drag, we can make it go all the way up there. Nice. Grab that again. Oh, look at that. So we can make a nice tall ladder, which we can just climb up. <laughs> Oh, don't turn off there. Ah, grab it. Oh, we're on the other side now. Wow, okay. Whoa, and there's the top. <laughs> oh, ladders. They're just going to make navigating so much easier. Okay, we've got ladders, and I think I will use those in the, the modular factory design uh, for getting around the place. Yeah. Anyway, need to get back over there and get working. Well, after some effort, we now have a pretty much finished building. And this has some very strange design elements to it. I was kind of just having fun, really. I mean, it's only the heavy modular frames factory. I mean, that's all it is, really. But there are some crazy shapes going on here. There's some areas that are just clearly big walls, but everything's kind of offset with something that parallaxes as you move past it. Like, I quite like that big solid wall there. I don't know, it's, yeah, it's fun. And it kind of doesn't matter what angle you look at it from. It's kind of this weird industrial thing. Yeah. I'm not really sure what I was going for. <laughs> it's just... It's just a monster, really. Even around the back, it kind of just looks busy. Like, there's, so, there's something going on. I mean, you can see there, there's some random uh, railings. Yeah, I don't know what these walkways along the back are all about. That might have been a bit of an accident. But what I was aiming for was just something that looked interesting and wasn't just a box. And instead, I've just ended up with a series of boxes that look interesting. So I say, mission accomplished. But do you fancy coming and having a quick tour with me? We can go up either via a ladder, which was with the new feature. Or, if you fancy the express route, we go up this way. I will add some more hypertubey stuff in here at some point later, but for now that's just a quick way up to the main entrance. And the main entrance is as grand as it is weird. <laughs> We've got this kind of interesting shapes going on there, but everything's designed so that stuff comes in and out of the factory a lot. This is actually the main storage, and while it doesn't seem like a, there's a lot going on right now, every now and then you'll just see some heavy frames coming through because of the craziness I've set up on the inside. So let's just go and have a look. So you come in and you're met at the front here. Now, I have now seen why everything is so still. We have no power. Oh my goodness me. <coughs> oh. So somewhere along the lines, I have inadvertently deleted a power pole. Oh goodness. I'm going to be a little while figuring this one out. Give me a minute. Right, okay, there we go. Run, 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 run. I found it. I literally, I had just deleted a single power line. Oh, how silly of me. So you can see now the system is running again. And we have boxes slowly making their way over there. Now, I've purposefully got it so it's all moving slowly because of the fact that I have the frames working their way around this kind of slightly intricate belt system. You remember I mentioned about out here? See, we should have seen something moving. I did wonder why we didn't, but that was why. So just as we enter the factory, over here on the left is where the main storage is. So all the frames get stored in these bins here. There is a route out, which will be for a train station at some point. But as you can see, we've got quite a few. This has been working for a little while, and yeah, we're building up. But the, <laughs> but the, fr <laughs> but the frames kind of go on this journey before they go into the bins. So they'll head off this way and kind of go over the door and then work their way back again. And they'll just sort of go around all over the place. I just like the idea that you always see lots of movement wherever you look. So once the factory's up and running fully again, 
um, it sort of starts to become a bit of a hive of activity in here. So combined with this, you can also get around the place uh, using the various different walkways. And you can go through and look over certain areas. We can come out here to this area out here, which is a lovely balcony which looks over the view and allows you to come down and go through in here. And I think there's a really nice kind of way. Oh, I must have not. I started there and I didn't continue. Hang on, let's just quickly. Ah, there we go, much better. So now you can come up here. I added a little ladder up here so that if you want, you can climb up here and run through this way. Or you can go back down and you can run the entire length of the factory, which I think is quite fun. You have to watch your head because you might catch yourself on the wires. But this was, I built this obviously before you could place wires on the ceiling. Did you know you can do this now, by the way? Did you see this? You can now do that. Look at how good that is. Oh, brilliant. Anyway, so we can come all the way along here. We can run all the way around here. Watch out the window as we go. Look at all this smelting. And when we come back down here, we're now near the start where we can see all of our incoming ores. And quite a fun one is if we go up this one here. We can look out over the window through the window here, which is quite a nice view. Come and see all up here. There's access to the upper floors there. Or if you want to run down this one, you can then run across all of the manufacturer's belts and see everything that they're all doing, which just looks absolutely brilliant. And yeah, when this is all kind of churning away, I love it. I love it so much. That will take you all the way up the other side where you can then access some of the other rooms. So this was the interesting one that had that was building our reinforced plates. So there's always lots going on in here with the screws. And yep, you can then even come over this way. And um, basically you can get pretty much anywhere in the factory by walking. You don't actually need a jetpack. You do occasionally need to jump. <laughs> But you can get most anywhere just by walking. Oh, look, I've missed one again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fixed. Right. And yet, what a view. That just looks really cool. You can kind of see everything that's going on over there. Plus, you can see all of the tubes making their way around. Ah, I just love it. I just love it. But now I need to figure out what to do next. I remember I was going to set up the new base. And I said about doing it over by that sinkhole. But I don't know. I really like this area. I still might do it over here. Oh, I'm really genuinely struggling to know what to do for the best. If I do it here, there's so much stuff right next to me. We've got the oil just down there. Ah, oh, I mean, no matter what happens, I'm going to have to go and do some stuff that is miles away. But do I want the main base all that far away? I'm going to have quartz running over there that's going to be creating all my uh, crystal oscillators. I think I might go back to my original plan and build it over there on the side of this mountain. Or, look over there. We've got a really, really beautiful waterfall. I could do it somewhere halfway. Utilize this water here and maybe use this waterfall. I'm genuinely, I'm so struggling because this is one of those decisions that once you've made it, you're not completely stuck with it. But if you put a ton of effort into it, you don't want to have to just redo it all. Maybe we'll build it all around this area over here. It could be quite interesting. And then we get a nice view of our big new factory over there. It would be quite cool if it was overhanging that. But let's just have a super quick run over this way. Mm, down here is a little bit stinky. I don't like how foggy this is as well around here. So no, maybe, maybe we won't do it here. And I think that sinkhole is actually too far away in practice. So I think maybe we will stick with the idea. I need to plot something out. Mm. Maybe that's where I should start. I should start just plotting something out. But I just need to make sure that it's definitely high enough over this water. Because I really want to make sure I can utilize this water. Especially now with the new pumps. The Mark II pumps. Which have got a 50 meter uplift. Which means I can send water up really quite easily. I mean, we could even build it up there. That would look pretty cool, actually. 
What could we do that? Should we build it up there? Oh, I don't know. What's over here? This area is a little stinky, but it's not too bad. But there's just some daft shapes. Let's just have a quick look over this way. Yeah, see this... What's put me off a little bit... My plan was to build it here, but it's just this floor is so weird. It's so uneven. And you've got these daft mushroom things. I'm going to go away and have a little think about it. And then by the time I come back, maybe even before I finish this sentence, it will be... Okay, I have got it. I'm not going to build over there. And I'm not going to build all the way over the other side. I am going to build right there. <laughs> so I've just planned out the floor plan. And this is the floor plan. It's not enormous, but it is big enough as a kind of central hub for all the mini bases that are around the place. The, there'll be a dedicated base for certain things and then other things will be done here and this will grow quite tall. Now the thing that I've built first is just up here. It is the storage area and check this out. Built in the same way as in my last playthrough, this is such a great design. It works really well and it looks fantastic. This end, I'm not too worried about because the factory will actually build up here. And I have a little bit of room to expand if I need to, which I may or may not do. I've got quite a few bins here, so I probably will be all right, but we'll see. But this end looks cool. I really like this view because we've got this big mountain and sitting in it is our awesome, awesome heavy modular frames factory. So this is all great. And to make this is actually pretty straightforward. It's a bit of a fiddle. But I'll just show you quickly. So if we just delete this one here. And we'll get rid of that. And that. Just to show you how to do it. You build a storage container. And you have to, you have to basically build it on a gap. So... I'll remove this as well. So you'll see here I've got the large foundation. And what you do is you kind of you build down from it one so that it's there's a one foundation gap underneath. Okay? But with a one foundation gap up there. So we've made this kind of gully running all the way down, yeah? Now we put our bin in line with the next one so that it is three quarters hanging over that edge. And then what we do is we grab one of the conveyor poles and just pop it there directly in front, sort of encroaching into this one. Next, place down a walkway crossing just to fill in the gap and make it look decent. Finally, a Mark I conveyor belt because it's very minimal and link that up. Now, whatever you pop in there, wire was probably a terrible example because it looks a bit weird but it will show like that which is really cool so let me just grab these let's do a better example what about these guys <laughs> so now you've got this inventory and you can see what's in each bin really easily and just go ahead and grab whatever you need out of the bin so i really like this setup it looks super super cool all the items that go in the bins will get collected up the top and fed in through a, an upper floor. But I've also built something else as well. And this is a little bit crazy, but yeah. I've built a 21 platform train station. And I say I've built a 21 platform train station. I've actually built two 21 <laughs> platform train stations. And I've rigged up the train and it is running. So it's not actually moving any materials yet, but the train does the route, comes around and collects, and my golly, this is a long train. This is a really, really long train. It just seems to go on forever, and it does a great route. If we head over this side, it goes underneath what will be the kind of central hub base, around this whole section here, and kind of up this really interesting looking wibbly bit
and off around there. And I just love the length of this thing. It just feels like it goes on forever. Like every time you think it's going to stop it, then doesn't. <laughs> and then finally it does. Oh, I just love it so much. So if we head over to the other base, we'll see where I've got this going to. And that'll be the big next job is to set up the collection Oops. of all this stuff. There he goes. Now the one downside to having so many carriages, I think this really is the cusp of what I can get away with, is this hill really, really slows the train down. So as it's coming up here, it just goes slower and slower. Until eventually it's just crawling up the hill, which is fine, you know. It doesn't really matter. All it's going to be doing is collecting the stuff from the other base and I'm going to use that as a secondary central collection. So for the things that I've got over this side of the map, they're going to feed into this other train station. So I'll have little train systems that basically feed this one big one. And here you get an idea of how slowly this will work its way up the hill. <laughs> and coming back is so much quicker, it's hilarious. So just at the back of the other base here, we have the other end of the train station. Obviously, I haven't rigged up this belting system yet to actually start feeding stuff in there, but that'll come. But it just sits at the back here. Everything goes will go into there. And here it comes. So yeah, this is really cool, really cool. And I wanted to just show you a little bit of that and how it was coming along because I think this is going to end up taking me a long time so I'm we've got to see how this is going to pan out but anyway I must get back to work and I've now done a bunch more stuff so this video has taken a lot longer than I was expecting because this has just been so much work to set up and get all running plus my PC died uh, long story let's not get into it but yeah had to do a reinstall bit of a nightmare but anyway we're back again and I've done this so obviously, yeah, this is a little bit crazy, right? Um, but this is how I am moving everything out of this base. I'm sending it up this big tower thing here. And it comes out all into this run of conveyor belts here. <laughs> it's fun, right? Let's run down here. And you can see that we have our three steel elements all coming from that way. It all then goes into this crazy build beside the the old frames factory that I tell you what I just spotted this this little uh, smelting area is based off two mark one miners I could actually give this a massive upgrade and expand this building even more and make an awful lot more stuffs might have to do that at some point because we also have these frames going off into the, uh, the train station. But anyway, anyway, sorry, distracted. So yeah, these are all coming over here and they go up here. They go up this way. I kind of like this layout. This is quite interesting, I think. Uh, and there's a little bit of room for expandability, but it brings it up to here. Now this is the train station, as you saw, but from the other side and it is currently being loaded up from here and I have tried to keep it as neat as possible there's a smart splitter in there because every now and then I have this little problem where every now and then these steel beams get mixed up with the encased beams and oh, whatever they're called but yeah bit of a pain but anyway so this goes over here um, as you can see my iron plates is actually really slow production so that is again that's something I need to fix and then just from over that way you can see this is where the frames are coming from but this is already all filled up and it's already all backed up, so that's all really good. So this train station is good to go. But I just first now need to go and set up the other end so that we can start getting the stuff into the other side. But yeah, 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 we're getting there, we're getting there. And wow, this is just so much stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Right, anyway, must get on. Right, so I have now set up all of those belts. So this is all of the outputs all coming to these locations. So this will all then run up here and I've then just got to connect it to up there. I know this all looks a little bit strange at the moment, but it's gonna be phenomenal when it's done. It's gonna look so cool. Right, let's get on. Hello again. Right, 
So, to you that was only seconds, to me that was an enormous amount of effort, but, yeah, I've built a way for stuff to get into my stores. Now the stores, I've not got it fully connected up yet, but just look at that. How cool is that? This is my complete stores with wonderful view of factory. <laughs> And yeah, this is awesome. There's so much storage here, it's brilliant. And I've managed to get it looking pretty nifty as well. If we just hop upstairs, I haven't put stairs in yet, so we're flying for now. There we go. This is where all of the bins get filled up. And basically, it's all coming from over this way. Woo! And if ever was there was a case for RSI, this is the thing, jeez. Doing this belt work was a pain. I always have to put the stands at the angles of each drop because of the fact that otherwise it starts intersecting in the floor and I just don't like the look of it. Whereas that keeps it kind of nicely level. And then this monstrosity just up here is crazy. Uh, basically, I was just trying to get it all together in a neat way and I've ended up with, with that. <laughs> yeah. It's going to look interesting when it's full though, but basically it now comes from at least the first bunch of uh, trainee things. I will add more, but not yet, not yet. This is all I need for the time being. Now I had to come up with something a little bit weird for this section, just because of the way all the belts are arriving. And it's kind of cool in a postmodern art kind of way. I know, is that a thing? <laughs> it's like some kind of weird monster. But at least now, when the first train pulls up, it will be full of stuff. So, the first thing we've got to do is make it happen. We need to get over to the other side, turn the train on and have it come and collect stuff. And let's see what happens. So here we are over at the original base and at the train station. I've called the original one. If you have a better name, please leave it in the comments. I'm not very good at coming up with names. Well, I actually am, but I prefer if you did. Anyway, so, so the point is, uh, let's find the uh, train, Ruse Chew, and we're going to set this to autopilot on. That means that the train is now on its way. Okay, so I have just spotted an enormous cock-up that I've done. <laughs> oh God, because these are around the other way, I've done it wrong. The first five here, aren't going to make it into the new train station because I didn't wire, well, I didn't belt them up. Oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to sort this out? So basically, I think the way I need to do this is to take five platforms off the end here. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And put the train station there. And then reconnect that so that basically the last five cars don't even enter the train station they stay out the back i think that's the only way i'm gonna do this right and let's try again and see if it arrives this time i can see movement through the trees here it comes oh, here we go here we go and the train has arrived Oh my goodness. So, yeah, there's the brakes. So we should end up with around about five carts sticking out the back. Or maybe a few more. Oh, oh. wow, okay. No, it's a, mm, somewhere about, right? And then this should all go crazy. <laughs> I've got a KRK subwoofer. And my goodness me, that sounded immense when that just did that. Just did. Oh, that's so, so cool. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. Exactly five out the back. So we've, we've, we've resolved our problem. Oh, man. And off it goes. Oh, that is just so immense. I 
gonna love it. Right, we've got to get over there real quick. I spy a train. I spy a train and it's coming to the train station with all my stuff. <laughs> right, quick, let's get down there. Uh be scary. Ah. Oh, my health is really low. Wow, you stopped quickly this time. Okay, there they all go. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so this is going to go crazy out here then, isn't it? There is going to be a ton of stuff making its way up. Come on. Here it all comes! Here it all comes! Sorry, I'm getting really excited over this. I know it's weird and silly, but I've been working on this for so long now. It's amazing to see it actually all sort of doing something. Right, now we need to get up the top so we can see it arriving. I've set up this very handy new booster system. Very thank you to the new update. That gets us up there nice and easily. A little bit of effort at the end, but can't win them all. Right, and there they all come. Yep, good. What does this look like up here? Oh, it, oh, it's here. Oh, look, there he goes. <laughs> Brilliant. This is actually t technically a really simple, silly thing. Like, that I'm just transporting stuff to somewhere else. But, I don't know, it just feels so good that it's on such a big scale. And, oh wow, the bottom's already filled up already. Oh, I didn't even realise. So we've only done... Oh no, there's some on these bits as well, look. Here we go. So here's our... It's like a pick shelf. That's really cool. So we've got cables and plates and frames and... Yeah, brilliant. And... Yeah. Well, whatever. Like I say, I'm well chuffed with that. That's really cool. So what I now need to do is just get it all plumbed into all of this lot. So that it's all going down into the bins. Which I will do for next episode, because I think that's quite enough for today. Um, and uh, yeah, then we're going to be on to doing something with quartz, because we, we need to get some uh, crystal oscillators underway. So I need to have a think about the factory for that, which is probably going to be twice the size of that one. <laughs> oh, oh, exciting stuff. Well... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe and press the little bell so that you get notified whenever I put a new video up. And with that, I shall wish you a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Bye!